it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to show you guys how to set up ePay for your payroll liabilities. Now, in the past, I've showed you how to go in and actually process it, go in and pay it inside the IRS website. Some people prefer to actually choose to go in and pay it, and some people prefer the ePay. It depends on your preferences, whether you like the electronic style or not. So, if you've already set it up in the previous way, I'm gonna go in and show you how to set it up with the ePay. So you're gonna go under employee, pay roll taxes and liabilities, and what you're gonna choose is edit payment due date slash methods. In other words, maybe you had check, now you're choosing a different method. And it's gonna open up your payroll setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to click continue. It does tell you that you have to have an enhanced payroll within QuickBooks to be able to do the electronic ePay. So it, they do require that. So what you do is you're going to click on each type of payment that you need to pay and you're going to click edit. So the 940 and depending on how often you pay it. Now the 940 you don't have to pay till you reach $500, but it depends on your employees. You can choose to do it quarterly or annually or down here you can choose to select a different payment type. I'm gonna do mine quarterly, and I'm gonna change it to ePay. Previously it was on check. When I was in the process of figuring out more about the ePay, because it's something newer to me, um, most clients that I work with don't really like the electronic kind of thing. So how do you choose your payment method? We'll click on that. And then I, I was going through here reading about this and how does the ePayment work? And it tells you, you have to set up your items, your payroll tax type is e-payment, which I'm showing you how to do that now. And then basically you enter in each information. Now, how does it process and submit the payment? Basically QuickBooks sends the payment information to Intuit when you're doing it. And then Intuit sends the payment information to the agency in a big batch with other people. And then the agency process the payment and accepts it. And then it ACHs it out of your account and Intuit does not access or hold the funds during the e-payment transaction. The agency returns the e-payment status to Intuit. And so that's how it works. That's kind of curious how it works. All right, so you click finish and then we're gonna go into the 941, you're gonna click edit down here and you're gonna go through for each type of tax, you're gonna click e-pay, it says who and you decide how often you need to pay it. If you don't see what you need, you can say, let me choose a different payment deposit frequency if you need that. And you go through and you're gonna do that for each type of tax that you have. So on EDD, when I clicked ePay, cause I'm in the state of California, you can choose how often you wanna pay it. If you wanna choose how often you can click on how often, and then it asks you monthly. Monthly, select the day of the month for paying your deposit or payroll. Pull down for the day selected. I'm gonna choose the 14th. So I know it gets there on time. And click finish. And do the next one the same way. This one already has it set up for monthly. It lets you know it's due on the 15th, so I'm gonna leave that. And click continue. And then it's gonna ask, select an account or edit your e-payments to change to your current information. So you choose which account and you click edit. And you're gonna have to put in your bank information. So you're gonna put in your checking account number and routing number. and click finish. Now it's been enabled and you click continue. And it gives you some details. So you can read through this. It tells you that IRS requires you to have this information where if you don't already have it set up, you'll need to enroll. And if you're in the state of California, this says you don't need to enroll, but if you've already enrolled, that's fine. 
So we're gonna go ahead and close this, read through that, print it, do what it says if you don't have it set up. And then I'm gonna click continue and continue. And I'm not gonna worry about those. Click finish. All right, so now we're gonna go in. I've showed you on a previous um, training how to go in and print your reports to verify how much you need to be paying. You're gonna go under employee and payroll, payroll summary and payroll liability balance, pull the period of time that you're paying for. So once you've printed your reports that you need, you're gonna go down and click pay liabilities. And technically for the payroll that I'm doing, it's less than $2,500 and a quarter. So I don't have to pay it every month, but I wanted to show you what that would look like. So technically this is saying it's due overdue by two days because today's the 15th and to get it done in time, you need to do it two days in advance. So what I'm going to do, and cause I said I wanted it paid by the 14th. Really, if I put the 15th, it would have said the 14th, but anyway, so what I could say is that I want to pay the California here and I want to pay the 941. So you check mark those and click view slash pay. And it's set up for an e payment. And you go in and you make sure what it's paying. Withdraw on. It'll actually take it out on the 17th. Actually, you want to click e pay. This is EDD. Hit submit. Choose to print your confirmation and click OK. And then we will close that one. Then we'll click next and we'll e pay this one. And you're going to need your information. So you're going to need your four digit pin that you get when you've registered and your password. So I'm going to put all that in. Once you've input all of your information, you are going to click submit. Check and verify all your stuff on top is right. Once you've hit submit, it says, please wait while we, while QuickBooks transmits the information, everything's been done. It tells you a summary of what it looks like. You can print that if you want and then close it. And you need to come back and make sure. So make sure you're doing this a few days in advance. Don't wait till the last second or you might get some penalties depending on if you technically owe monthly, quarterly, bi-weekly, depending on how much payroll you have. All right. If you enjoyed this tip, please subscribe. And if you want to get these tips emailed to you a couple times a month, feel free to go up to the I and subscribe to get them sent to you, my QuickBooks tips and tricks. And if you need personalized help, feel free to contact me at Candice at CandiceCamper.com, or I will put a link down below or up at the I. And if you're wanting to really understand QuickBooks, how to set it up and how to use it, feel free to check out confidencewithquickbooks.com. And I will also link on the end of the video and up above my previous video on how to pay payroll taxes if you don't wanna do ePay and how I go through and choose how much I actually owe and all the verification that I recommend doing. I wanted to keep this video slightly shorter, so I'll include that. Feel free to check it out. Have an amazing day, take care.